What up YouTube, your boy Miss Gamer here today, I've got a little Apple update for you. Well more of a construction update and a little tutorial um, on a, regarding painting of the airport. Um, first of all, update, main boards, just the same. Uh, this board, runway, runway markings are done, uh, text lines are done, hold points are done, there's one there and I'm in the process of doing this one here. Um, the, all the well, the beginning part of the red markers for the gate numbers uh, I've put inside the base and uh, the road on that side has been done and, and the red gate lines which to be fair on this board really haven't come out well it doesn't look too good uh, to be completely honest compared to these ones those ones are pretty decent these ones are just all over the place. I think I did this little slit a bit too thin. Um, but yeah, that's that's just like an airport update, kind of. Um, I'm just gonna wait for this to dry, and then I will crack on and start marking out for the spray lines of the green for the grass. Okay. And once that's done, of course, I can then. I won't really have to spray anything more. I'll just finish off the painting. So like that. So like the gate numbers, um, the final lines for the text, the yellow lines on the runway. Uh, this one, this one's going onto that board, just going into that last marker there. Um, I think that'll be it for painting, really. Um, but yeah, okay. Painting in general. Um, I know Jeremy just one oh seven. Um, asked me for whether he should paint um, what well, I suggested to him uh, they should paint his board because he's already got a May, he's already got a um, paper one I thought he should paint it get a bit of self satisfaction um, so basically what I'm just going to go over in this video is basically all the basics we're going to need I know he's already done a base layer I believe it's black um, but this is what I use personally um, I haven't got the paint on me. Actually, I've got the spray paint and the other couple of paints. But the grey, this grey bottom, it's basically just metal primer from, I'm not sure if you have it in the UK, in the um, US, but it's called, uh, the paint company is called Dulux. Um, they do like a metal primer. Um, makes this kind of colour. Of course, that's why I use for that term, so I'm going to use it for this one. It's a really good base layer. Of course, protects it as well if you're ever going to knock it. Um, and so on. But yeah, basically the base layer is called Metal Primer. Just want to coat it, do about two coats of it. Um, just so you get a nice, well, I wouldn't say even as such, but you still get a nice little um, grey. And it's a really nice taxi away colour, apron colour. Then runway, base layer, black spray paint. Um, I believe I have in here. Of course I've got bottom of the cover and then... Models. Okay, this is the spray paint I used um, for the runway. Uh, it's just a uh, enamel spray paint, so um, so it's just black, matte black, I think. Yeah, matte black. And um, then for the grass, I know you can't really see it, but I of course it's green and it's grass, and you're applying it. So in case you can't see, um, in case the grass starts coming off. What I've done, I've got a um, a sprayed, which is what I need to still need to do. Um, basically, that exact same spray paint, but green. Um, so yeah, green spray paint just going along the grass areas where it's going to be grass. Then of course I'll apply some grass flock. Um, for of course the fuzziness of the grass and make it seem really nice, really nice colour in that flock actually. Um, and then for the runway itself, specifications, length, it's however long you want it really. Um, I did that because I wanted to, when I did the lighting, um, I wanted some landing lights going along that way. Um, I wanted to do landing lights, so of course I made a little gap. Um, but in theory, width, um, I did mine at 12.5 centimeters because that's a, around about the same scale as Heathrow Airport. Uh, twelve and a half centimeters wide, 
Um, as I said before, width doesn't really, length even doesn't really matter. Markings. Okay, let's get the markings up. You can do this with whatever way you want. You can even have a full one like that, so you've got three markings, or you can have two markings. Whatever you want, flexibility. So whatever you want. Um, but yeah, this one. The threshold lines, they are seven centimeters long. Um, the gaps are, well, this gap here is, um, i trying to think, half of 1.25 basically, so, seven, no, let me check, where's a ruler? Right, is it? Oh, some weird, um, yep, yeah, seven point, 0.75, something like that, that gap there is 0.75, then I can fit each one of these markings, that includes the gap in between, is 1.25 centimetres wide, so you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 of them, and then of course, a centre line, just mark out, it's going to be half of 12.5, which is 6.25, Um, so that's, that's the centre line mark. And then the centre lines themselves, they are um, half half a centimetre, so five millimetres, millimetres, whatever, milli, millimetres, whatever, uh, thick and two inches long. Then the gaps, of course, are two inches each. So you got this one is exactly two inches from that marking up there. Um, and then this, the numbers, just get a piece of paper, you can really just. I want to say print them off. Um, numbers wise, the the main area, I should say, it is, I don't know how, however long that is. I'll go into more detail, this video is going to be long. Uh, let me check. That is, how much? I know that's a bit wrong. That is 2.5. The markings are going to be 2.5 away, 2.5 centimeters away from the runway edge. Then the markings themselves, they're six centimeters long, three centimeters wide. Of course, that's easy enough. Two centimeter gap. Uh, but if that's a six centimeter gap, and uh, I've got a sheet. There we go. Got a sheet up here. Yep, six. No, it's seven. Or is it six? I think it's six. This isn't the best. Yeah, six centimeters gap between the number and the uh, mark. This mark in here is just a block, goes for well 3 centimeters higher and 12 long. Then this one is basically the same, is basically this block but halved, um, still 12 centimeters long, but it's 1.5 in length, just so it's in between. Then finally, this marking up here is each one of these blocks is 4 centimeters long um, and 1.5 wide. Of course, you make it look like that. Looks very good. Um, but yeah, basic taxiways. Yeah. Basic taxiways. Seven point five centimeters wide. With of course, in between the middle of that is three point seven five. Uh, that's the line where your where your taxiway marking is going to want to be. So your yellow line is going to want to be that wide. Doesn't matter how wide you have that line, but you know. Um, hold point I'm not going to cover because you can basically just do whatever hold point you want. Um, it's about 1.2 centimeters wide and whatever. Um, if you want more details and like the specifics, like um, I'm going to cover the gate sizes um, in this video as well as it is getting long. Still going to cover it. Um, I'm not sure if the iPad's going to like just disintegrate. Uh, not too sure. Uh, but if you want more details on like the Gate markings is in like these, uh, the jetways. It doesn't matter those, um, and then of course the rum, the numbers. If you want more details on those, and and in general, if you want more details, just comment. Um, I'll probably do a video for you guys, spec uh, dedicated. But yeah, then of course taxiway join ups. Still seven point five. They all just meet, and then you can just join them with a compass, whatever. Um. Okay, let me just go over this. We've got a right, land side road, I mean, airside road even, 
two centimeters wide, of course, blah blah blah. Doesn't matter where you put the dotted lines, whatever. Um, this is the air side line, basically represents vehicles going over this line must contact ATC for clearance to go over it because then you're technically in an active taxiway. So that's what this line is for, doesn't matter what specifications you give it, just as long as it goes outside the gates. Gate sizes, it's going to be easy to cover on this one. Okay, so here we have, I will say for clearance wise it's I always add one centimetre for these sort of gates. Always add one centimetre. For the heavier gate, add two centimetres. Um, this gate is 10 centimetres wide. I believe it's 17, 17 or 18 high. Well, that might be that one down there. But 10 centimetres generally covers a 757 easily. Then this one is 12 centimetres. This one covers a 767 easily. Um, Alpha 3, which is kind of a cargo slash or a for, slash just general remote. Um, this is 16, I believe it's 16 wide, and this will cover a 747. Um, yeah, a 747. Then here, 20 centimeters wide, that covers a 380 wingspan, and of course, the 748. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. You can make it as long as you want. Oh yeah, I forgot the regionals. Regional stands. These are 8 centimetres. Generally covers every single regional aircraft and a 737 Classics. So like the uh, 100 to 300. 100 to 500, sorry. Uh, regional stands cover that. Sorry this video has been long. Um, I've just tried to get everything in that you kind of need to know. Once again, if you want any more details on any of any of what you see um, and so on, like just general details, uh, just comment it. I'll probably get a video out for you guys. Um, then I just want to get this all ready for spraying, and then we'll be off. Extension will be near enough complete. Just would have to uh, put down the terminal, uh, put down the gates, and well, we'll be finished then. Okay, YouTube. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the link. I'll see you later. Adios. Bye.